Welcome to another episode of Food Buffet Report. Why do people put photos of partially eaten plates of food on review websites? I can't seem to understand how this helps someone decide if they're going to eat at a buffet restaurant. Bill, what are your thoughts on this? It's a good point. I don't know. I mean, they want to show that they're good eaters. Like this person clearly has gotten through his entree. He's, he's, he's enjoying his dessert. Remember when you're a kid and your parents are like, you won't get any dessert. And this person is probably, look, screw all you people. I'm eating dessert. And he may, maybe they ate it first. I don't know. Look at the crust. They broke that piece of pie apart, didn't they? So you're suggesting a platform where people can go and they can post photos on how good of an eater they are. So it'd be like Yelp, but not for the restaurant, but for the customer. So what's the benefit in this? Uh, for who? Benefit for who? What's the benefit of the stupid shit we do? <laughs> <laughs> Say, I'm saving the planet with my YouTube shows about half-eaten food at buffets. <laughs> <laughs> the app... Yelp, mm -hmm. all about all about restaurants for people to rate restaurants. Well, if you want to go and have people rate you as an eater, we should make an app called Burp. <laughs> sure. And that app is for people to post pictures of their half-eaten plates of food. And people can come and rate how good of an eater they are. I don't know if anybody's made an app with that name yet. So you might want to check that one. It's a good, good idea. Yeah. It's a messy table. This guy's got a lot going on. It's all kinds of paperwork underneath his ice cream bowl. He's got his sunglasses, his mask. He's got, there's a way up here. Wait, 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 way up there. See it? Mandarin classics. I don't know what, is that the placemat or is that like a. Yes. A, yeah. And this is pecan pie and he's broken the crust off he's totally just broken up the pie in the cakes or are those just little squares of pecan pie not actually a whole piece he hasn't touched his ice cream you'd think that he would want to eat the ice cream first yeah look at the spoon though it's all got all bunch of leftover things on it it's not a smooth, it wouldn't be a smooth spoon in your mouth. And look, it's covering up the Mandarin logo. They have logoed plates. Good for them. Yeah. So clearly, if someone said, if Mandarin was like, this is not our restaurant or this is our restaurant, people would know because it's got the logo. It's a great way for restaurants to showcase their half-eaten food. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I guess it's a sort of a win-lose situation when you're a buffet and most of the plates of food look as ugly as this, half eaten or not, and your logo's on there, then that's what you become known for. Yep. It's a great show. Never thought we'd be saying Buffet Report another episode or another episode of Buffet Report. This Let's show will that. never die because whether buffets are here to stay or if they get shut down again, there will always be photos of plates of food from buffets on the internet to talk about. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thanks.